Hi everyone and welcome to the Crawlstock RC workshop. Little video tonight just to show you how I put together my Boom Racing customizable wheels. They're the Pro Build series. I've chosen the custom carbon version. Um, I'm hoping that these are going to look pretty awesome on my new build. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you would have seen a couple of pictures of it by now. But I'm really pleased with it so far and I thought these wheels would just sort of finish it off nicely. So I'm going to show you the bits that are included in the kit, the wheels themselves, what they look like on the truck and some tips and tricks on how to put them together. So what's included in the kit? You get a set of instructions, you get a nice set of stickers, you get enough wheel nuts obviously for all four, you get the special tools for putting the wheel nuts on because the clearance around the wheel nuts is uh, very small it's probably smaller than most drivers that you'll be using you get two two millimeter hex driver tools you get a bag of ordinary cap head screws you get another bag which contains the optional hex headed screws for that scale look and then of course the wheels themselves now the wheels come in several sections so we'll skip forward and we'll look at those. Okay, so there's lots of parts to each set of wheels. So firstly, you get the carbon face. And this is the main hub section. And that comes pre-assembled to the face. As I said, I've opted for the carbon look version. Uh, these are actually real carbon fibre. And once they're on, they're going to look amazing. You get the two sections of the rim. So you get the front and the back of the rim. You get your bead lock, which I've already pre-weighted with these five gram motorcycle wheel weights. And then to secure it all together, you get the backing ring, which has got the threads in to screw it all together properly. Also included in the kit, you've got the scale look hex head bolts, you've got a set of short cap heads and also a set of long cap heads and that becomes significant in a moment when we start building them. Now, as I mentioned earlier these wheels are customizable. Now the way you can do that is by fitting this section which has got your hub on you can put it on the front, you can put it in the middle or you can put it on the back which will give you a different look and a different offset. Now I mentioned earlier the difference between the two lengths of cap heads that come with the kit. So the shorter ones on the left, which are approximately 12 millimeters long, they're for actually holding the wheels together. The ones on the right, which are about 16 millimeters long, are for assembling the wheels. And if you try and assemble them with the short ones, you're gonna be swearing a lot. Now the way I've chosen to build mine up, our locking ring at the back, the rear section of the wheel, then the bead lock, then the front section, and then the cover itself. Now the tyres I chose for this build are the Proline flat irons, really nice tyre love the square edge on them and I love the tread going all the way around. So to assemble, first of all we need to put the bead lock in the centre with the weights on it. I'll take a little bit of stretching of the rubber to get it in and then once it's in we'll just make sure that we centre it against the foam. It's going to move around a little bit once it's being run, but the square you get it in there now, the better it's going to be. And you could actually put a bit of double-sided tape on there as well, just to hold it in place. So then we need to put the back section of the rim inside. And obviously the idea is to pinch the section of the tire which creates the lock on the bead, hence the bead lock. 
So that's the back section in. So then we feed in the front section. Thing to note here is that eventually all of the holes need to line up. So you need to line up the front fascia plate, the front part of the rim, and the rear part of the rim, and then the threaded backing ring. And this is where your long cap heads come into play. So what I did, I'll drop a couple in, just on opposites, and that just helps me to visually line everything up. So I'm looking through the rim at the moment, just getting the bolt holes lined up, ready for the next part. So then we need to place the backing ring in with the threads in it. Line it up roughly. And then this is where it comes in handy to have your tool. So just with your hex driver, just get a couple of turns on the first bolt and then you know you're started. Now before you try and put any pressure on anything, it's a good idea just to make sure that your tyre and your bead lock are seated correctly. Because once you start doing it up, you're not going to be able to pull it out. And if you do, you then stand the chance of ripping the tyre, which obviously you don't want to do. So then on a flat surface, start making an, your way round, doing the screws up, same amount each go. And now you're drawing the two halves together. Now I'm doing this with two screws, but you could do it with four, just to make it a little bit more even. But I've already done the other tyres, and four took me ages, so I'm attempting this one with two, and it seems to be going okay. And eventually, what you'll do is you'll be removing these and replacing them for the scale hex looking bolts, if that's the option you're going for. So there we go, we've got those two done up. Checking the bead, and the bead all looks good. I'm pleased with that. So what I'm gonna do next is start putting the scale hex bolts in. Now these things are tiny. They've got a two millimeter hex on the top, just to give you an idea. And what you don't want to do is try and use these for actually pulling the sections of the wheel together. Um, a couple of these early on did round off quite easily and you do get a few spares but not lots. So what I do now is I go round all the remaining holes that are available now with these hex bolts. And if you buy a set of these wheels, they are really stunning to look at. Really, really pleased with what I've got. There's lots of different options available, hence the Pro Build Custom Series. Go around, put one in every hole, bar the two that I'm using to hold the sections together. Okay, so we've done up our two cap heads. They're properly tight. Now what we're gonna do is going around in a sequence and making sure that when you put the tool on, you push it down and it, so that the hex goes all the way into the driver. And then working at opposites, just go around, nipping them up. And as I said earlier, you don't want to put too much pressure on. And it does say in the kit not to use Loctite. So hopefully the pressure of the rubber pushing on the bead will create enough pressure to hold these in place. Okay. 